for today's topic, which is the part 2 of this series, I will teach you about the equations of a circle. So in this video, I will help you out on how to identify the center and radius of a circle given the standard equation of a circle or the general equation of a circle. Let's have the standard equation of a circle. So, this is your standard equation of a circle. So, it is quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared, wherein h and k is your center and r is your radius. To get the h and k, just identify the number given here, then get the opposite sign of it. That is your h. Then for the k, the number here, then the opposite sign here. Then always remember that x always comes with h, then y always comes with k. And to get r, that is the square root of r squared. So let's have an example. So first example, we have quantity x minus 1 squared plus quantity y plus 3 squared is equal to 4. So we have to identify the center and the radius. For you to be able to know the center, we know that this is your h since it comes with x, then this is your k. So for your center, that is h and k, and that equals to the number here, then opposite of this sign, which is positive 1, then the number here, opposite of this sign, which is negative 3. That's your center. For your radius, you just need to get the positive root of 4, so that is 2. So, this is your center, 1, negative 3, and your radius is 2. Next, so this is H, this is K. So, center would be positive 2, negative 1. It's the opposite sign here. Why are we getting the opposite sign? Because on your standard equation, it's negative here. If you expand this part, this is positive, this would be y minus negative 1 quantity squared. That's why it becomes negative here. Then your radius is the square root of 16, which is 4. Okay, next item. So this is h, this is k. So, center would be on positive 1, negative 4. And your radius is the square root of 9, which is positive 3. Okay, next. If this will be the case, you don't see any number with my, what, minus any number. Meaning to say... The, uh, the value of h here will be 0 instead. So, h is equal to 0. k is equal to positive 3. So, center here is on 0, positive 3. Your radius would be, since this is not a perfect, uh, perfect square, so this would be square root of 14 here instead. Okay, next. So, in here, uh, we are given the general equation only. So, what you're going to do is to convert this into the standard equation of the circle. And we need to do completing the square. So... We need to have the trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c in here. So, to complete the square, we need to get um, b over 2 quantity squared to complete the square. So, in here, the first step would be um, putting all the terms with same variable on one side. Then, their constant would be on the right-hand side. So, we will transpose this on here. So, this will be positive x squared. Then, it will go with positive 4x. Then, we need to give space for the completing the square. 
So to complete this trinomial, um, you need to get b over 2 squared. So this will be 4 minus 2 squared, which will be 2 squared, and that equals 4. So meaning we have to add 4 here, plus y squared minus 2y, then they have space here. So this would be negative 2 over 2 quantity squared, which is equal to negative 1 squared, and that equals positive 1. So we add 1 here is equal to negative 20 on the other side becomes positive 20. Then since we added 4 here, we add 4 here also. Since we add 1 here, we add 1 here also. So simplifying, this will be square root of the first term is x, sine of the middle term is positive, square root of the third term is 2 squared, plus square root of the first term is y, sine of the middle term is negative, square root of the third term is 1 squared is equal to 20 plus 4 plus 1 is 25. As you can see, this is now your standard equation. We can now identify the value of h and k here. And here are squared. So h is equal to negative 2, k is equal to positive 1, r is equal to 25, uh, r squared is 25, meaning your r here is positive 5. So your center is on negative 2, positive 1, and your radius is positive 5. Next, so we will arrange this. So all of the terms with variables would be on the left-hand side. All of the constant would be on the right-hand side. So this will be x squared plus y squared is equal to positive 9. As you can see, you don't see any numbers here. So meaning to say, h is equal to 0, k is equal to 0. You don't see any constants on your x variable. Then r squared is equal to 9. So center here is on 0, 0. r squared is equal to 9. Square root of r squared is positive 3. So these are the parts that you needed. Okay, next. We put all the variables with the uh, all same variables on one parenthesis again. So this would be x squared plus 6x. Then we put space plus y squared since this one becomes positive on the other hand side. So this would be negative 2y, then space is equal to negative 9, since this one becomes negative on the other side. Then we will be completing the square. So the middle term is 6, so this would be 6 divided by 2 squared, which will be 3 squared, which will be 9. So we add 9 here, we add 9 here also. Then in here, negative 2 over 2 squared, that equals negative 1 squared, that is equal to 1. So, we add 1 here, we add 1 here also. So, uh, let's uh, factor this out. So, square root of x squared is x, sine of the middle term is positive, square root of the third term is 3, then quantity squared plus square root of the first term is y, sine of the second term is negative, square root of 1 is 1, then quantity squared. Then simplify this part, negative 9 plus 9 is 0, what we left here is 1 only. So in here, this is h, this is k. So h is equal to negative 3, the opposite sign here. k is equal to positive 1, r squared is equal to 1, or r is equal to 1. And center will be on negative 3, positive 1. Uh, this is R. Let me erase this first. 
there. Okay, next. So this one will be x squared minus 8x because they are on the same side plus y squared minus 6y then space is equal to negative 16 because this constant would be on the other side. So let's do completing the squares. So this will be negative 8 over 2 squared which will be negative 4 squared which will be equal to positive 16 so plus 16 here plus 16 here also then negative 6 over 2 quantity squared is equal to negative 3 squared is equal to 9 so plus 9 here plus 9 here also then let's uh, do the standard equation so this will be square root of the first term is x, sine of the middle term is negative, square root of the third term is 4, then quantity squared, plus square root of the first term is y, sine of the middle term is negative, then square root of the third term is 3, then quantity squared is equal to negative 16 plus 16 will be 0, so what left here is 9. So h is positive 4, k is positive 3, r squared is equal to 9. So meaning center is on 4, 3, and radius is 3, which is the square root of 9. So that would be all for our topic for today. On your part 3, I will teach you about um, giving the standard equation if you have the center and the radius or any point on the circle or length given, given diameter, given certain points on the circle. So thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to be notified. Uh, if ever I upload new videos. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment box in raising your concern. Uh, once again, thanks for watching.